Morning class. All right, so today we're going into a different class altogether. Today we're going to do a little bit of sketchbook work. And for sketchbooks, this class is going to be for surface design. Now, most of my classes we use, you know, regular traditional composition notebooks so that you can come in and you can put in your designs and stuff and have in your, your simple layouts and your pieces. But today we got a different topic that we're going to do. Today's piece is going to be called is the, is called the um, One Line, One Breath design challenge. Alright, so one line, one breath is simply a abstract design piece. It's basically to, for the students to focus on how to use a line across a single piece of paper. Now, for the assignment that I'm using, I found this cool thing on Pinterest. Um, so I found this cool picture on Pinterest and I was like, you know what, that would be a great sketchbook assignment. Possibly you can possibly expand it out to a larger piece, which is kind of my goal, uh, to make a bigger piece. I just think it's, it's an interesting thing. So I was sitting in a, I was sitting in a meeting and decided, hey, let me give that a try. So I just took out my pad and I started throwing down single lines. So as I'm doing this, I turn my paper on the horizontal like so, start at one end of the page, take a breath. <gasps> And as I'm blowing out the air slowly, as I'm letting that air escape my lungs, I'm wholly pulling one single line down. Next one. And again. And But I'm trying to make sure that those lines are as close together as possible so that when you are done with it, uh, as you're going down, your hand's going to make a movement across the page. If you want to, you can even talk about chaos theory. Should probably cut into a scene from Jurassic Park. All right, so as the line is coming down across, how's it going to transfer across the paper? Are you going to have these single lines that are perfectly single side by side? No, because we're human. You're going to have those mistakes. That's kind of the stuff that we want to see in your in your designs because that's more interesting. And what's even cooler about this? You got a big class. Everybody gets like a. 12 by 18 sheet of paper take about two maybe three days to do uh, but to have a giant mural piece where everybody in the class is creating one of those pieces very cool stuff very cool stuff now my students are finishing up uh, working on a hand stitched sketchbook that they're, they're making there for themselves because it's one of those things that I think that you should do you should be able to make your own sketchbook because sometimes going and buying a composition notebook just doesn't fit for you uh, make your own 